So a couple days ago, a viewer reached out, Scott over at 802 Outdoor Adventures. I will link his channel in the description below. He asked if I was really interested in selling the FL Sun. We worked out a deal and well, it's, it's now, it's not here anymore. And it looks like he's already getting more use out of it than I did. It's a pretty interesting machine to move around. So I opted to move it off of the stand that it was on onto a different table and then lower it down onto a dolly to get it out to my car. So that begs the question, what do we, what do we move over there now? I'm thinking the Neptune 4 Plus. Now that machine is a pretty big machine, but the table that I have it on now kind of gets moving around pretty good when it's going pretty good. And that's a pretty solid workbench, so I think it's gonna be a good fit for it. So this machine isn't something that I use super often, but it is nice to have when I need that bigger build area. So I'm thinking putting it over there with the other larger printer would probably be a good fit. Good news is it's just one power cord and then the whole thing can be moved. Seems like a good fit to me. That means I've got room for my dryers. I think that'll work. Now, the next thing on my list for today would be the keychains. There was, I don't know, 50 or 60 of you that reached out about those keychains over there, but we did get 10 or 11 different folks that are gonna take those home. So first up, we have Patrick from Georgia, who's gonna be taking, looks like the shark and Dalmatian keychains. So I'm using boxes for this one just because, I mean, there's not a ton of them, but there's quite a few. And I definitely don't have enough bubble mailers right now to actually send everything out in bubble mailers. So a little bit of bubble wrap, some bubble bags too. Next up is Guy from Ohio. Now he got the cow ones, or everything in the cow bin for that matter. There isn't a whole lot of these ones, so I think these will fit into a standard six by 10 bubble mailer. So this will include the cows, the raccoons, and uh, a couple of these little pandas. I'm just gonna use this as a placeholder since I don't have their labels yet. We have Bing with the Bernese Mountain Dogs. There again, isn't a whole lot of these, so these should fit into one of the six by 10 mailers. I guess I'll grab a few more of these since we're gonna need them. Next up, we have Ben with the sloth and elephant keychains. Now, there isn't a whole lot of the elephants, but there's quite a bit of the sloth, so we'll need a box for these ones. Probably two separate bubble bags, too. Oof. All right, then there is Brian with the corgis and all of the beagles. All of the beagles except for that beagle. He, he's staying here with me. Apparently this one also wants to stay here with me. Then we have Brooks with the koalas and Mike with the St. Bernards. Let's we'll grab both of them to make our lives a little easier. I 
And last up is Tamir with the Grizzlies. There really isn't very many of these Tamir, so I hope it's worth it for you. Looks like I made a slight error. Um, I don't have anybody in my email for the labs. I'm gonna have to go check Patreon for that. Might as well get them over here and get them packed up though. Okay, labs are going to Luke. Somehow I missed that one. Now this table's looking a little bit different than it did about 10, 15 minutes ago. I do have plans for some of the stuff that's gonna go on here, so I'm not gonna fill it up just yet. But depending on how the next couple of months go, there may be more items that are gonna be available. I do have quite a few cookie cutters down on the bottom shelf. Haven't fully decided what I wanna do with those yet though. I do have a camera business card holder to get sent out though, so I gotta get that printed. And definitely need to swap the plate on the 5M Pro because Pet G, not so good on the polycarbonate plate. So I tried printing this out of PLA and Pet G over on the A1 Mini, and the top surface quality, amongst other things, just looked like hot garbage. Especially around this area here, was just very rough and almost undercooled, but then the top looked like it was overcooled. So I'm thinking maybe the Pet G was a little bit too wet. We've had a lot of rain here in the last couple of weeks, but the PLA, there's just, there's no excuse for it. So I figured to try it out of ABS and well, it worked. So aside from the keychains, I also have eight Etsy orders that I need to get packed up and ready to go out. So let's dive into that. All right, so I've got all eight of the Etsy orders packed up, ready to go out to the post office tomorrow. It definitely seems like Etsy is picking back up slowly but surely. I know for me over the last couple of months, it has been fairly slow compared to last year. I do have a couple more things to get added as far as the woodworking genre, I guess you'll call it, but that'll be down the road. And for those of you who reached out about the keychains, or I guess got the keychains, just be on the lookout for that second email from me. Should have already landed in your inbox by the time this video goes out, but if it hasn't, be on the lookout for it, and those will be coming to you guys soon. Thanks so much for joining me today, folks. I will see you all in the next one. Take care.